Let's do it again. There we go. I was like so bad earlier. The hell? I ain't even making excuses though. Okay, here's my move. There we go. I know how to play now. Your energy with me for a spirit bomb. Done. Yes. Take that, Frieza. <laughs> Take this. Take this, Frieza. Come up. You're finished for. Me. Ta. Me. Ah, just another part of the day you have been actually been waiting for because I am making a part two of Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero. Y'all really did enjoy part one, actually. Y'all got that to a hundred views, and I'm actually proud of y'all for that for sure, man. Because I know I'll be putting the work on my content, videos, everything. But yeah, guys, y'all really enjoying the freaking game, and I'm also making a part two of this. So yeah, guys, today's game we are actually be playing which is called Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero. All right guys, since we're here on Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero, and I've been so excited to play this freaking game because you know, I've been actually been interested in playing more of the campaign, honestly. And I think the campaign of this freaking game when the first start was a 10 out of 10 experience. It was awesome. But the biggest rage in this game made me great a Vegeta. One of the worst bosses I ever freaking faced in freaking history, bro. And that guy just pissed me off through the video and all of this all of that it was just so freaking bad bro like i don't even understand how great a vegeta just beats me every time but yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and stop my yapping here our most legendary quote of the day and also y'all better go ahead and drop 25 likes in this freaking video for today and also let's go ahead and get straight to this action Alright guys, I think this is new. Previous, the team managed to force a Vegeta's retreat, but it's too late. Many of their friends have died, and with Piccolo and Kami gone, so too. Our Earth Dragon Balls, the group decides to, to stake, stake their hopes on a journey to Planet Namek that Vegeta mentioned to the obtain new Dragon Balls. So yes, yeah, since we're on part two of this. Okay, let's do this thing. Yes sir, Goku. Let's do it. I still like the graphics in this game though. It's so cool. I really love it, dude. I just can't, bro. Oh man, okay. Gonna have to read again. <laughs> About one month after the group set off on their journey, Goku receives an SOS from Planet Nemic. With the help of Yao Chibi, Kinsu Beans, Goku's now fully recovered boards, the spaceship Bulma's father have prepared for him and sets off for Planet Nemic. Let's read it fast. On the spaceship, Goku continues his training before arriving on Planet Nemic. He managed to break every limit to attain greater power than he ever he ever known. Frieza, the Emperor of the Universe, makes his appearance on Planet Nemic in the search of the Dragon Balls. And newly recovered Vegeta also arrives hoping to lay his hands on the very same Dragon Balls. The Saiyans are a true warrior race. Don't interestimate us. They just beat him up. Okay. Sorry that was a little bit laggy. I apologize. Vegeta may have taken out the Emperor's under Lings by Frieza soon calls in his elite team of fires in the Ginyu Force. In response, Vegeta teams up with Krillin and the others, but even still, their fight with the Ginyu Force is no cakewalk. It's cakewalk, what the heck? Goku arrives in the nick of time, ready to show off the results of his training. This is gonna be a freaking cakewalk. Ginyu Force sucks. The heck? Really, bro? That's Sorry, all you got? You were wide open, so I just went for it. Exactly, that's what I said. Matt, you little <laughs> punk. <laughs> oh, you got knocked out. Rip. Look, you guys have got a choice to make here. Yeah. Either get off this planet and go home, 
or you're gonna wind up like your friend here. Exactly. Did you hear that, Bertha? This jolt knocks Shot Raccoon with a lucky shot, and suddenly he's dishing out threats to the likes of us. Please. Ooh, he's got some nerve. Are you sure about that? Let's teach this old punk why the Ginyu Force are the most elite warriors in the galaxy. Are you sure about that? And you're not the powerfulest Ginyu Force ever. Let's go! Please. Yeah! This is gonna be light work. Come on. Let's do it again. There we go. I was like so bad earlier. The hell? I ain't even making excuses though. That's easy. There you go. I don't know. I don't know what the fights are gonna get freaking harder, bro. Like I, I can already tell. This is easy. This is light work. Just the first time I got my ass beat up because of lag. Come in. Ha! Come on, bro. I'm trying to beat his ass. Let's get it. Take that, boy. Take that, boy. You know you love that, bro. Okay, here's my move. There you go. I know how to play now. There you go. I know how to play now. Oh, you just went down with me. What the heck? I didn't even meant to go down like that. You are, Goku. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oof. Take this, boy. What is this bloke? That was easy. 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 Dang. So we just beat his ass like that. Simple as it is. I know I lost the first time because I was pretty laggy, but I don't care. Let's get it. All right. Dang, Goku just took him down like that easily. Damn. Goku swiftly overpowers the two members of the Ginyu Force. Another managed to escape, but Goku has more than termination by the fruits of his training. He hears about the Dragon Balls from Gohan and the others, but before they can take action, Goku sends a strong Kai headed in the direction of Gru. Goku tells the others to head straight for the Dragon Balls while he reads himself once more. It's time for him to put an end to Captain Ginyu. Guy you I meant. My bad. So this is the guy, huh? His power level's only around 5,000. That's him, Captain. Don't be fooled. This freak's way stronger than that. Level 900, then. He must okay. be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000, eh? 60,000? But that can't be. This guy's just a puny Saiyan. Are you sure about that? It's not unheard of. He could have a natural talent, or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Okay, dokie. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. Okay. To think I'd find an opponent that I can finally demonstrate my full power on. Are you kidding me? So, are we gonna dance or fight? Exactly. They just keep yapping. That's what they're doing. Yap every day. All right, let's go then. Have fun, Kakarot. Petita. This is gonna be good. Bro, I'm just kicking his ass right away, bro. What a great start. Continue, sir. I will assist. Damn it. Without Petita, this isn't exactly gonna be a cakewalk. I don't remember asking for help, Birder. I'm perfectly capable of fighting my own battles. But in again, and it'll be you I pulverize, understood? 
Are you sure about that, Captain Gunyu? Share your energy with me. I'm not done yet. Not like that. Uh uh. Not today, buddy. Get out of here, boy. Not today. <laughs> Your strength is unbelievable. Yeah, I think I'll take it. What do you mean by that? Take hey, what? You just back out like that? Wow, that was the easiest fight I ever fought, bro. What the heck? He's weak. So weak. What just happened? Change now! Suddenly, Captain, Captain Gohan begins chucking, then he lets out a definient scream. In doing so, he triggers a technique that enables him to switch bodies with Goku. Oh shit! Now in control of Goku's body, Captain Gunyu heads back to his spaceship with his... Okay, I can't read that. Goku makes a desperate chase after them, but he is hindered, trapped in a Captain Gunyu's injured body. Guys, listen! That's not me, it's Ginyu! Using my body! Bro, that's bad. And the others arrive to find Goku battling his own body. Unknown to everyone, Vegeta has his own plans for Gunyu, but first... This is bad, so he is taking control of Goku's body. Oh no. Seeing that Butcher has lost his will to fight Vegeta ruthlessly puts an end to his life. Vegeta, why? They couldn't even defend themselves! Shut up! You're too soft-hearted, Kakarot! It's kill or be killed! Dang, Vegeta's a menace, bro. After finishing off Butcher, Vegeta shifts his attention to Gunyu, who has taken over Goku's body. Now it's time to finish the job! Huh? Ah! Now die! Yep, he's dead. Four. Change now! Please let this work. What? Oh no! Oh, no! Well, you got wrecked. What an idiot! Goku rushes to enter Goku's body, changes technique, and is able to reclaim his own body just through nick of time. B bastard! How dare you! You ruined! Everything! I'm back to being me again! Yes, sir. Now he's what? back. What the hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? <laughs> Virginia get I mad. swap with a fresh body and quick! Oh, uh, no, you ain't. Yours will do, Vegeta! He probably dodged that. Or nothing! Bro. <laughs> Suspecting Gunyu's plan, Goku throws a frog between the captain and Vegeta. They just throws the frog? What in the world? <laughs> Whew, that was a close one. Bro, what? He turns to a frog? That's crazy. What the heck? Bro, that was funny. So he did turn to a freaking frog. Captain Gunyu, bro. Go captain Gunyu is now trapped inside a frog and Goku is saved. Goku is then put inside the medical machine to recover. However, he can sense Vegeta and the others fighting nearby. Now get ready. Oh god, Frieza. Oh dear. We're gonna have to face Frieza, which is gonna be the hardest. Meanwhile, Vegeta and the others sense his amusement power coming to their opponent, one that far exceeds their own. Just as he is marveling at Frieza's strength, Goku treats Goku's treat, treatment finishes and he is fully healed. I'm trying to hang on just a little bit longer. Hopefully. I'm on my way, guys. When Goku arrives at the raging battle, Vegeta is moments away from death at Frieza's hands. I, I'm begging you, please, beat him for me, for the pride of our race. You must defeat him. Please, he must die by a Saiyan's hand! Oh no. And so the battle between Goku and Frieza begins. So I'm fighting Frieza then. Ah, shit.
for you to beg me for my help. I can only imagine how hard that must have been for you to do. I may have hated you when you were alive, but I always respected your pride. And now, it's time for me to share that pride. Go ahead and do that. I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. And in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer, for them and all the people of planet Namek too, I will defeat you! You will. And I would just love to see you try. Such a menace, bro. Both of you, we need to get out of here and quick. We'll only be in the way. X. Go on! Come on, hurry! Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! He won't. Because I will beat his ass! Let's go! Come on! Alright, Frieza. <laughs> Ah, shoot! I didn't even expect that to come. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited what the hell? about the prospect for battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. To kill me? You're gonna have to try real hard to kill me. That's all you're gonna do, Frieza. Damn, he can actually. Ooh, he can dodge me, dude. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's time for sudden death. Why don't we finish with the. Share your energy with me. But this guy's gonna be paying me ass for sure. Oh, you just yeeted me that. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. He just... Oh, no. <laughs> he just dodged it. What the hell? Oh, they just did it close corners. What the hell was that? Oh my god! We finish with the rehearsal and commence with a real battle. Bro, Frieza is a menace, dude. There's no way. Okay, I got him again. I'm just gonna keep doing this, bro. You know what? Really hoping I wouldn't have to rely on this again. If I want to win this fight, my only choice is to gather enough energy for a spirit bomb. Oh, you just eating it? I'm getting excited. Oh god, he's there. How can your ass, Frieza? Hey, Kame. Ah! Almost killed him, dude. I'm gonna keep doing this, bro. I ain't trying to rush Freeze. He's such a menace, bro. Oh, oh, shit. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, please don't TB. Please don't TB. God damn it, he blocked that. He was close. I forgot. Oh no. Oh my. There's no one gonna beat him, dude. Oh, damn. That was okay. Take this. Yeah. You 
well is it my turn? I'm not done yet. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'm killed. God damn! I'm about to keep doing this, bruh. Please don't miss. No, I missed that. I missed that. I missed that. I missed that. I'm not done yet. Ah, damn, he blocked that. I'm getting excited. I think I'll toy with you a bit. Oh my god, I damn went down my accident. Oh my goodness, Frieza just destroying me hard. You see, I'm able to survive in the vacuum of space. But can you? I Now perish along with this planet! I can't even believe it, bro. His laugh, bro, is such a menace. Crazy is the menace of society, bro. Are you even kidding? Ow. 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 Dude. God damn, he reflects every single damage I do, bro. I guess he really loves doing that. I missed that. Damn it. Ooh, he's close. No, he blocked that. down there. I knew he was going to do that shit, bro. Let's go. My oh god, I'm sorry for screaming, bro. Damn, I just destroyed Reason like that. Golly, he was pretty tough. Pretty tough opponent, bro. I was locked in too. Goku's spirit bomb has finally brought an end to the long and far fought battle. At last, our heroes can rest, or so they can think until. No, it, it can't be. Alive! Oh dear. No. Please. Piccolo! 
Oh, Piccolo got shot. I advise against placing too much stock in your escape. Though if you like, I can bring you closer to home. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna kill him. Trillin! No, Frieza! Don't do it! He's gonna kill him, bro. Go, go! Damn. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. I think the brat should go next. No. You, you ruthless, heartless bastard. Go, take Piccolo with you and get out of here now. Find Bulma, find the spaceship, and go. Turn Super Saiyan. Do as I tell you right now before I lose what little sense of reason I have left. It's true. Okay, it's getting interesting. I'm loving this. Okay. Overcome with the pure rage at seeing Krillin die before his very eyes, Goku transforms into a legendary Super Saiyan. Once again, the trumpets of battle sound. Frieza, whose body can survive even a vacuum of space, has decided to launch an attack powerful enough to destroy planet Namek is entirely. Okay, we're here. Yes. Yes. The final fight, bro. Let's get it. Come on. With five minutes left until pandemic extinction. Frieza has... Okay, I couldn't read because I was getting hyped. Yes, I'm in this fight. His power is expanding even more than his muscles. This really must be 100% of his full power. Exactly. Goku, are you listening to me, Quit standing around and finish him. This is our one chance. It is our one chance. It also may be the only chance I'll ever have to fight him. If he really is the strongest being in the whole universe, I need to see if I can beat him myself. It's hope for Goku. What did you say? Goku, listen to yourself. You're out of your mind. There's no point to this. Krillin can't be brought back to life with the Dragon Balls a second time. And I refuse to take the death of my best friend sitting down. Krillin was my best friend. Took him from me. He killed him in an instant. Like he was nothing. Exactly. 85% now. 90. 90? Frieza, just know the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best. No regrets for either one of us. True. I know you want the same thing. You're itching to see what your 100% full power is capable of. Yep. Otherwise, you would have blown up the whole planet by now. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Let's take it, bro. Come on, Frieza. Let's go. My apologies for the wait. Oh my god, I'm kicking his ass. What the heck? What do then do you want to finish this, or are you just going to keep talking? Exactly. Tell him, Goku. Yeah! Tell him, Goku. Yeah! Oh, God. Okay, I went too high for a minute. Yeah! Oh, how, how the f... Hold up. Hold up. How do you get me right there? We're settling this right here and now. Cockroach. I you into a million pieces. Take like that, Frieza. That earthling. Are you talking about Krillin? Don't you dare say his name. Oh, just look at the moose sets, bro. Yeah. Elder to the Mercury, you have to tell the dragon to transport everyone except for Frieza to planet Earth. Wait! Don't make that wish! Ask the dragon to leave both Frieza and me behind! I'm serious, King Kai! You have to let me finish this battle with Frieza, or I'll never forgive you! True. Alright, fine! You win! Oh, I missed that! Don't make me regret this! Yeah! Yeah! Ah, he yeeted that! He actually eat that. Yeah. Finish him. Come on. Yeah. 
Huh? What's Frieza doing, bro? He's actually glitched. He's not fighting me. Hold up, hold up, hold up. He is actually not fighting me. What the hell is going on? Oh, now he's fighting me. Oh, right, Frieza be taking the massive hits of me. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's finished. He has to be finished. Oh my goodness. Alright, you want to keep hitting me? Take this! Take this, Frieza! Come on! You're finished for! Me! Ha! Me! Ha! Kiss! Let's get it! Amazing fight, bro. Wow! So amazing, bro. <laughs> oh, the irony. He who triumphs loses everything, while the vanquished escapes. I hate to gloat, but there's a lesson here on the virtue of mercy. Its only value is to your foe. Okay, Frieza. We'll see about that. True. I am Lord Frieza. The most powerful being in the universe! Which is why... Which is why... He's so scared of Goku, man. You must die by my hand! He misses, right? You fool! Tell him, bro. Damn, I just make a big ass explosion. <laughs> Well, Goku leaves. After desperate struggles, Goku defeats Frieza. He tries to escape from the crumbling remains of Planet Namek. But the spaceship he's found is too damaged to be piloted. Luckily, he spies a spot piloted by Guginyu Force. With that safely, but Nero escapes Planet Namek. Yet, the pod is not headed for Earth, but is destined for Planet Yarrit. And Goku learns a new technique. Interesting. Okay. Dude. We just finished the part, bro. We beat it. Great Ape Vegeta. Now Frieza. Bro, that was... Dang. The story... Man, I just love the story so much, bro. I, I actually love it, man. So this is where we had to actually fight Cell in this fight, so... Here goes. But I had to really be cautious about Cell. We defeated Frieza. He's good. Look at my boy Trunks. Look at him, bruh. Alright, man. We got Trunks here. One year has passed since the battle with Frieza on Planet Namek. Frieza has survived and comes to Earth seeking revenge. However, a mysterious young man suddenly appears before him. Dang. He just killed Frieza like that. Good job, Trunks. The young man then transforms into a Super Saiyan just like Goku and annihilates Frieza instantly. At the same time, Goku, who was at Planet Yard after his escape from Planet Namek, returns to Earth. The youth tells Goku that his name is Trunks and he has come from the future. He was he warns that in three years, androids built by Red Ribbon Army will arrive. Apparently, in the future, Trunks' friends have been murdered, and Goku has died of a heart virus. So he can come, he can he he has come to give Goku some medicine for his illness. After Goku telling, or after telling Goku that he will come to their aid, and when the androids arrive, Trunks returns to his own time. Goku is determined to fight alongside his friends to avert the coming of I can't pronounce that in the future. Sorry. Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you again. <laughs> sure, 
Sounds good to me. Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Yeah. Thanks, but I'm gonna head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Okay. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> he just wants to go train with Master Roshi, bro. Hey, Mr. Krillin. We're in the futuristic maps, okay. Alright. Three years pass and the faded day of May 12th has finally come. Dang, that's my birthday month. Goku and the others gathered at the time and place that Trunks gave them. They settle in into the wait for the androids appearance, but before they know it, they're, they're already half or here. Up there in the sky, he was attacked from above. But the androids come, okay. Goku and the others couldn't even sense the androids before they started to land in the streets. Suddenly, Goku senses that Yamchi Kai is rapidly fading. They arrived to the found, found him barely alive, having suffered a mortal blow at the hands of the androids. Goku leaves Krillin with the injured Yamchi and turns to face the incoming androids. Ah, these guys. Ah, this is gonna be pain, yes. Hmm? There are too many innocent people here. Let's take this somewhere else. True. You agree to that at least? Hopefully Piccolo does. Too many innocent people? Well, that is a problem which can be easily corrected. Okay. Why do you explode at? Stop it! Back, Lieber. You bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. Please you. That's it! Follow me, and we're gonna settle this! Yeah, tell him, bro. Let's settle this as good men! There we go. Goku leads to the androids to the desert area away from the town they were trying to destroy. Once a safe distance from humanity, Goku questions the androids about how they know details about him and the others. As it turns out, Android 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since he defeated the Red Ribbon Army in order to learn how to defeat them. He informs them that over time he has analyzed and come to fully grasp the power they wield. Android 20 is confronted that victory will be his, but Goku only grins his response. If all you know about me is from before I went to Namek, you're about to be in for a real shock. True. So we're about to be Android 20's ass, bro. Whoa. Mm. You guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get. Let's get it, Goku. A most intriguing discrepancy, this dormant power. It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. But it is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. No. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me. Exactly. Not to face that fat ass, so let's get it. Come on. I'm not done yet. Oh god. Is this still gonna grab me like that? No, nah, that's disrespect right there, bro. Nah. Nah, that is disrespect right there. Ah, oh, shut the hell up, bruh. You're so fat that you just be freaking looking like queso, bro. Shut up, boy. Give me your fat ass. What the disrespect? Nah, bruh, that's the disrespect right there, bro. Let me come behind your ass, bro. What? Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. 
I don't like this guy. I really don't. I hate this guy. Get over here. Get over here. I thought Frieza was more annoying. This guy is really is annoying as hell. I don't like this guy. Air Strike 20 is the worst, like, character to fight, bro, because he keeps, like, running away and does every single move that is, like, spams. Like, what the? Hey, come over here! Nah. Nah. I don't think so, bro. I don't think so, pal. That's not how this works. That's not how this works. He crying. Mario should put you in timeout, for real. There you go. I finna use my final special move. If that could work. Come on. Come on, Goku. Amazing. His strength is immeasurable. This Super Saiyan transformation is on like a that. level far beyond us all. <laughs> we'll see. Instantly like that. Don't mess with me, please. Don't. Just don't. Just don't. That's Chi Chi. I think that's Chi Chi. Goku loses con. Consciousness after his battle with the androids once he's been given the medicine from trunks he comes to a very days later during that time android 16 17 and 18 awaken to make matters worse a creature named cell has appeared seeking the ultimate power cell okay is it is it through absorbing android 17 and 18 that cell plans to attain his perfect form now aware of his new foes goku enters the hyper Hyperbolic time chamber so he can complete a year of training in just a single day. If I want any chance of winning battles to come, then I need to train hard enough to find a level beyond Super Saiyan. Through Goku explains his training to Trunks and Vegeta, and the two of them enter the chamber. A day passes, then Goku sends a impending battle. All right. It started. Piccolo's getting ready to fight. Yes. Yeah, but who? Do you think it's Cell? Ah, uh, Gohan. No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy. So it's got to be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan. We can't help it. We're nowhere near their level right now. All we do is slow Piccolo down. True. <gasps> Dad, that energy. It, it's got to be Cell. He's on the move. It is so. I'm assuming. Okay, so there's two parts, two two uh, things I can do: wait for Vegeta and Trunks, or go and help. Hmm. I don't know. Should I pick uh, Vegeta or go and help? Bro, I don't know. Um. All right, guys. Since I already picked the other ending for uh, go and help Piccolo. Well, guess what? It, there wasn't no ending to that. The only ending I got from that was Android 17, 18, and then 16. It was just like fighting each other, or whatever. I fought Cell, but I think I actually got the bad ending because they didn't give me like no explanation to that. So yeah, guys, I actually picked the Cell ending, which it was kind of like a plot story to it. But yeah, y'all go ahead and enjoy this video. All right, guys, I really did forgot. I was supposed to pick uh, Vegeta and Trunks. I was supposed to wait for them instead of uh going through the same thing i'm gonna go ahead and skip this part because i already read this by the way so we're supposed to pick wait for vegeta and trunks oh okay so we're we he didn't even need help at all so i picked the wrong version okay let's go and use this i didn't really know but it's all right telling you, there's nothing we can do to help piccolo with the level of strength we're at right now true <laughs> come on vegeta What's taking you so long? Yeah, why is he taking so long, bro? Oh, this is where we have to actually fight Cell. Later, Cell absorbs Andrew 17 game one step closer to his perfect form. 
Oh. He eats Entro 18. I always hate Sil so much. Soon after, he also absorbs Entro 18 through achieving his perfect form. Following this cell declares that the cell gains will be held after 10 days of preparation. He states he wishes to prove the strength of his final form and enjoy a little entertainment of course terrorizes the world. Goku completes his training to the hyperbolic time chamber of Dru. He says that the cell is still stronger than him. His spear has not been crushed. 10 days pass and the cell gains begin. Yes, sir. So I get to fight Cell. The oh, Cell games have officially begun. Now, if any of you should dare to step forward, I would like to kick things off. All right. I'll go first. You go first. Well, well. I was hoping to save the best for last, Goku. But so be it. Come on. Let's get it, Cell. I've been waiting for you. Let's go. Oh, okay, Cell, Cell. Whoa, 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 my boy. Okay, bro. What the hell is that? Are you trying to be like Frieza? Come on, Cell. You're easy. Like, I already beat you on your last form. This is your weakest form, too. Like, come on, bro. Bro, how simple this is. Saying spirit? Okay. Oh, that would have been cool if he didn't use it early, bro. Nah, bro. We, we, we both got to do it at the same time. Okay, that's Sonic Labels group. I was one of the coolest moves that Goku has done, bro. I was not expecting that, bro. I ain't even kidding. I was not expecting that. Oh, Cell is finished. Cell is finished. Cell, my boy, Cell is finished. He's finished, dude. He's finished. Yeah. Bro, my boy self finish. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Bro, okay. Come on. I want, I want you to use your Kamiha, bro. Like, Cell, come on, bro. Wait, what? I give up. I fought as hard as I could, but it's pretty clear there's no way I can beat you. So that's it for me. I, that was it, I guess. I mean, was that supposed to be in the plot story? Not to kill, uh, Cell? I guess I had to like stop like that, I guess. It's all right. Oh, Gohan. Okay. Enjoying his fight with Goku immensely, Cell realized what a shame he it would be if one of them were lose to a travel technique like going out bonds so he can destroy okay, but to Cell's surprise, Goku announced that he is throwing the in the towel. Believing that Gohan's strength has surpassed his Goku interest, the fate of Earth to Gohan. However, Goku has misunderstood. Even though Gohan has obtained greater strength, he is still a kind-hearted youth. The truth is, I hate fighting, and I don't want to kill anyone. 
Believe it or not, I don't even want to kill a bad guy like you. Oh, true. So decides he is going to purposely engage Gohan to force him to reveal his true power so he produces cell genius to inflict pain of on Goku and the others. Ew, so I have to fight these small guys. Now, oh no. My precious little babies. See those seven spectators up there. Kill them all. So those little guys are trying to kill us? How funny. Guys, keep your guard up. These things are way stronger than they look. Oh, they're stronger, Damn okay. Damn it all. And Vegeta says, and Goku. I, I'm sorry, guys. I messed up. I didn't think things would end up like this. I think I had to let Gohan, like, kill Cell instead. Like, defeat Cell instead of Goku. That's the reason why I kind of stopped right there in the middle of that fight. Oh my god, he's Cell Jr.'s. Oh my god, these guys are a little bit... Well, this is gonna be simple. Oh my god, we did, we did the exact same thing, bro. Oh, Cell, Cell Jr. is getting destroyed. Time's over. Do as Danny says and kill them all. Yo, pause. Right now. Right now. Yeah, sounds a little bit sus, man. He a sussy man. Oh, Jet. Cell Jr. is just running away. He's scared of me. He's so scared. You. You've changed. He changed. Got what you wanted, and I'll never forgive you. Thank you, Gohan. You will never forgive Cell because he's always a freaking trash can. I just, I despise Cell so much. I don't know why. I just, I don't like Cell. Okay, let me use my final form. Get ready to see my That teleportation just killed him. Oh, what? No, I missed that. God damn, I like it. Hold up. I just wrecked him like that. You brought this on yourself, Cell. Now you're finally gonna pay for all the suffering you've caused. True. He is gonna pay. Okay. Well, we did it. We actually beat him. Go on! What are you doing? Finish him! It's all up to you! Yes. He has what, to. You want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. He should have finished him instead of like. Ugh. Am I seeing things or did he just puke up 18? He just did. You. You. You son of a. <laughs> he almost cussed. Yo, Sam was pissed. Oh, in a few moments, he's her fat. I'll blow myself to bits. <laughs> I might die, but then so will all of you. This planet will explode in a burst of flame. If you lay a finger on me, boom! Bye bye, Earth. No sense in wasting your last few seconds while you got them. <laughs> Damn. So he just can explode the entire world like that? At Cell? It looks like Queso for when he eats too much. 
Bro, I think Goku sacrificed himself in this scene. Gohan's just pissed. He's just devastated that he didn't get sailed. He killed us. It's all my fault. I could have finished him, but I didn't. Could have, man. That's all right. <laughs> Dang, so he makes one sacrifice, bro. And Goku's thinking. Hey, I'm just laggy in general. Don't know why. I, I know that look. What look? Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well, Dang. any way you slice it, there's only one way to save Earth. By sacrificing himself to put Cell in King Kai's uh, planet. Goodbye, my friends. Dang. Pretty cool. cool. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... He is Krillin. Goku! No! Karin was shocked. You did good today, Gohan. Made me proud. Dad? What are you... Tell your mom I'm sorry. I'm not gonna make it home this time. Where Goku? Instant transformation now. Dang. The cell's done for. His his energy. It's gone without a trace. It is gone. Well, <laughs> that was it. Um, so he just put us to King Kai's blood. It. Oh no! What is wrong with you? You can't bring that guy here. Uh oh. Uh, sorry, King Kai. I was kind of short on options. He was. He's gonna explode. Oh no, he's dead. Oh. Dang. That was it for Goku. This is the King Kai's planet. Goku used instant transmission to bring both of him and Cell, Cell to King Kai's planet and save Earth from Cell's self-destruction. Cell successfully regenerates his body and returns to Earth, but Gohan, inspired by Goku's words, stands to meet him, ready to end him once and for all. Everyone wants a revive Goku, but he asked him to stop. Take care, okay? Live your lives to the fullest, and I'll see you again when you're dead. Bye bye! Earth may not have him there to protect, but he's not worried so long as it has Gohan and all of them. Its future is in their hands now. Dang. So we just defeated Cell, bruh. Looks like that was it, man. You know what? Since we're on Chapter 4, since we're on the Majin Buu arc, I'm gonna go ahead and just stop right here. Because I'm going to go ahead and do a part 3 if y'all explode 25 likes in this video. But yeah guys, I'll see y'all in the outro and goodbye. <laughs>